Hello everyone. So um, for this stream, um, I was uh, planning on starting some work on uh, interaction while I uh, try to do some research on uh, weapons and um, the AI stuff. Um, so um, I thought I kind of progressed um, through um, being able to interact with the environment or you know some items that you have in the environment. Uh, so for today's stream, um, what I plan on doing is um, actually implementing a little, um, a little function that would just, um, you know, cast a ray and um, return the value of that object that you hit, or uh, not the value, but the class of it. So imagine that you're creating a new component, um, and I'll probably go over that once uh, 5.4 is, um, you know, out of their preview stages and into a stable release. Uh, so interacting, you know, looking at that component and being able to tell what it is, and um, you know, maybe doing some things with it. So uh, quickly, let me show you what uh, what the result for today uh, will be. Uh, it'll, it'll be a probably a pretty short, uh, pretty short video. Uh, so um, let's uh, take a look at this. So what I've done is added uh, this thing here, which is a geom entity. Uh, you just go through entity, and I believe is here. So let's uh, take a look and see uh, what our guy can do. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that uh, I've added this little sphere for debugging, just to to see where um, the because it, it actually follows where the camera is looking. So, um, you know, once you go over this, and there's the little text telling you, it's, okay, it's a geom entity. So, you know, you go away, there is nothing there. So, um, let's uh, see, for example, if I was to uh, duplicate this. As a matter of fact, I jump into game mode, there's a geom entity there, and a geom entity here. Okay, so, uh, pretty straightforward. Let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so uh, let's see. We got our stream project here. Let's start that up. I, I don't actually. I don't know why I started that up because I was going to go to C++. So let's go review and Pro explorer, and uh, we'll go to our now uh, let's see solutions and game solution. So this is going to use um, quite a bit of um, what we've uh, previously done, and uh, we'll expand on that. So um, for this, uh, what I uh, the, where I implemented this was in uh, player view because um, it, it, I mean it, you need to shoot that ray and also uh, shoot it from some uh, positions that are used in the view. Uh, so. Uh, let's see. First of all, I uh, just wanted to uh, look at this real quick. Okay. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is um, actually create this little function that's um, um, I call it raycast. So you can call it anything you'd like. Uh, so let's do uh, void raycast. And uh, we want to pass uh, a few parameters, so we're actually just three. So first of all, we want to uh, pass a vector of um, where we are going to shoot the ray from. So we'll start. We'll call that origin, uh, and then we want a direction. So for this, I use a quaternion because um, we also have to account for the player rotation and. Um, um, it's um, I found out that it's easier to, to work with a quaternion for this. Uh, okay, so I call this direction. And um, the other parameter that I used was um, um, when I shoot this ray, I'm uh, trying to shoot it from kind of the top of the player's head. Um, so um, I uh, <clears throat> I need to not I need for the ray to not collide with the player proxy. So um, I want to exclude out of uh, my raycast the, the player. 
So in this case, it's going to be a reference to an I entity and entity. So this is going to be what's going to get excluded from uh, um, our our rate test. Okay. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to uh, to also add is um, I'm uh, I'm I'm going to create a a, um, a variable called uh, called class name, uh, just something that would keep our class name, so we, we can use it later on if you want to return something or use it somewhere else. So uh, it's going to be a cost character pointer, and we'll call it uh, p class uh, name. And we'll set that equal to just an empty string. Okay. So, um, you know, you get this little nice option in uh, Visual Studio that you can um, create the definition of the class or you know, start creating, creating the implementation. So, uh, in here, uh, this is where I mentioned that we're going to use quite a bit of what we've already done with, uh, with the original um, camera collision ray casting. So uh, let's let's add this in. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll start with a ray hit. Oh um, Oscar, so Oscar is asking um, why the why did I use uh, origin and direction as parameters for the player? Um, so there would be always player current and player towards camera vector. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's a really good point. I've I've never worked with them, so I wasn't really sure how to how to go about that. Um, so I kind of I kind of went went the way I, I knew how to do something. <laughs> All right. So there is our hit. Um, then uh, what I need is a, is another float, and this is. Um, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be an interaction uh, distance so um, you need to probably the player doesn't want to can't interact with something that's uh, you know 100 meters away uh, you can do that but um, I believe and just like Oscar mentioned in one of the previous streams uh, the, the farther you go with your array cast uh, the more uh, toll puts on performance so um, let's call this um, uh, an direction distance. And uh, let's set that, uh, I've set it for 10 meters. OK, so now um, the other thing we need to do is, um, um, and um, I'm going to get to why I use quaternion, um, because um, it's gonna, um, it's gonna have help. It's actually for the loop orientation, so that's why I used the quaternion. Okay, so we got this. Let's do a vec three for the final direction. And this is where we're looking at. So this is gonna be equal to. We're gonna take our uh, quaternion, so direction. Um, and um, and like Oscar mentioned, um, it's not necessarily to do it like this, but um, but this is this is how I made it work. Okay, so the final direction is going to be uh, our um, um, quaternion multiplied by vec three, uh, which is going to be um, um, so we want to interact with things in front of us. So it's going to be. Uh, on the x-axis is going to be uh, zero f, and uh, on the y-axis, so plus positive y-axis is going to be our interaction distance. And then, of course, on the z is going to be again uh, just a zero f. Okay, so now let's go through uh, what we've done before with the. Um, um, for the uh, the raycast options, so we've got an integer for the object types, and um, we're just gonna use you know for all 
Um, let's see. After that, we need uh, these flags to work to to stop at. So for our for our uh, ray hit, and um, that is going to be a const unsigned integer. And I named this flags just like before. Now some of it, some of it, it just a little bit of copy and paste uh, from the other um, um, camera camera collision intersections and ray hits. So stop it first of all, and um, collision any. And now I need to put in. Uh, the entity that we want to skip over. So, so this is going to be a static and I physical entity. And it's a pointer and it's a pointer to an array P. Uh, skip entities is what I called it before, so I'm going to call it again that way. And um, this array was set to 10. Uh, you can probably set it to something else, uh, like a, you know maybe one. Um, so you know if you have multiple other entities that you want to exclude. And um, so p skip entities and uh, zero is going to be our entity, which is uh, the player. So entity dot get physics alright so with that said let's uh, actually do the ray shooting alright so this is gonna be uh, arrow p physical world and uh, we got a ray world intersection Let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. All right, so the real world intersection is going to take uh, our origin. Then um, we want our final direction. And then the object types that um, we're going to encounter. Uh, then we want the flags. Flags. Our our rate hit. Then uh, one. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Um, um, it says max hits, but then again, then the the, the skip entities. So p skip entities uh, skip entities, and then um, skip entity auxiliary. Uh, I've used this as two, but I'm uh, again. Uh, this is I'm not entirely sure what it does. There's no real documentation on this, so um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, quickly do the, the little persistent debugging, so we can see that steer and uh, add the text as well. Persistent debug, and then uh, it's a pointer. And let's do global environment and uh, p game framework and get persistent debug. All right, so uh, now let's go into actually doing something if it hits something. So if uh, let's see hit. And if this is going to be a P collider, and um, we want to make sure that we've set this pointer, so PPD, uh, so then we can start doing the um, um, persistent debugging. So this part is going to be, uh, let's see. Uh, and we're going to start with begin for um, these, and it's going to be, let's call this raycast. 
and set it to false. And uh, then we'll just add the sphere of uh, where we hit something. So P D D. Again, this is just for debugging. So um, so we're gonna add sphere, and uh, where we add it is gonna be at hit dot point. I'm only assuming PT stands for point. So then um, we want to do a radius for it. So 0.25F, that should be plenty size. Then we want to do a color, color F. So this is going to be, uh, well, I, I've made this one um, um, kind of a yellowish, uh, orange color. All right, so we got the color, and um, then 0.5f for the alpha, and then we want a timeout, and this I would set to 1.1.0f. Dot one dot Oops, not then one. Okay, so there's that. So now we should be casting a ray. So let's quickly compile this. Uh, actually, I'm missing something here, which. Uh, would actually be to call this. So let's call it right in here in update. So raycast. And what we'll pass to it is our final position. Um, and then the quaternion. That helps us with uh, the loop orientation. And uh, so MP player. So get input and uh, get local orientation. And then uh, our entity. So the entity that needs to be skipped so we don't we don't hit ourselves with the raycast. Alright, so let's see, why am I getting some issues here? That's correctly defined here. Oh, I forgot to close one of these. There we go. Okay, so let's build this. Uh, what am I missing? So, close one of them. Oh, yeah, I, so I've overdone it on this end. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at our stream make some project okay so let's jump into game mode and uh, there's our our little ray thing going off and um, it looks like it's uh, at uh, about 10 meters uh, for the distance where it uh, where it's shooting it and it's interacting with things as you can see so let's um, actually make it or have it tell us what we've what we're looking at, uh, or you know the type of object that we're looking at. And um, I've also added this into our raycast function. So right below here, uh, we we want to get the physical entity that the um, the raycast hits. So let's create a physical entity. Uh, I'm always spelling the physical wrong. So physical entity, and this is going to be a pointer to let's call it um, P hit P hit entity, uh, and this is going to be our hit dot collider. Okay, so we want to use our entity system to actually get that from this physical entity. So T and that's going to be equal to global environment. And I can't spell today. 
key entity system and get entity from physics. And here we pass our p hit entity. So we're quick gonna test that this pointer actually gets set. So p entity. And in here we'll get the class name. So uh, let's see, entity class. P class, and that would be equal to the P entity that we would hit and get class. So once we have that, now we can pass that onto our um, uh, the stream that we created here, P class name. So let's set that equal P class name is um, equal to P class and get name. So there we go. And uh, now let's just output that to the screen. So again, I'm just going to use this if statement to guard against the pointer not being set properly. So we can do p p d. And this was something that I've, uh, you know, there's there's quite a few options and uh, uh, I didn't scroll all the way to the bottom to find the add text 3D. So this is a good point from uh, from Oscar. Uh, so when you use pointers, you always should uh, check if the pointer is null or not, uh, like in this case. Um, so um, also using the parameter entity is shadowing the entity variable defined already. Yeah, uh, that's that's definitely uh, definitely my fault. So um, um, my my apologies for that. So let's add this text 3D. And uh, it's going to be a hit. We, um, so this is where we placed uh, the, the 3D text. So we'll pay, place it at um, the hit position. And uh, let's see what's next of size of it. Uh, let's set it to maybe 3. And then we'll do a color. And we'll just use probably this color here. We're just going to copy and paste this. Then we want a timeout. Let's do a 0 0.1 f. Oh, f. And uh, then the p class name that we want to pass on. All right, so let's quickly give this a test and uh, and see what we get. And uh, we can. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything missing. Okay, cool. So let's build this re real quick. And see if we get something displayed once we uh, once we jump into game mode. All right, so there's our arrow. Nothing displayed here. This, these are just designer objects. So let's add a um, and actually maybe a geom entity in here because that's the quickest way to add some geometry. So let's see, do we have any geometry? That's the question. The uh, thing is, I don't remember if we do, but I think we do have something, uh, at least in here. I'm not sure if this is going to work for a... Oh, there we go. I guess I guess it does. So, uh, let's jump into game mode and see if uh, this is anything that we can hit. Apparently not. Uh, okay, oh, I did not want to delete that. So, let's see. Can we find some actual... 
some actual geometry here. Weapon, sample weapon. I guess we'll try and use a weapon. This is the very bare bones project, so it doesn't come with anything. And apparently this one does not have collisions. One thing that I, I wanted to mention is that for this to collide with something, it needs collision. So let's um, let's try and find something. I can't believe there's actually nothing in here that uh, I might just have to uh, to bring something in. Okay, well I guess we'll use a primitive box. So let's use this uh, this pyramid. So there we go. Um, it's hitting this and it's telling you that it's a GM entity that you're looking at. Um, so if you were to duplicate this, we got GM entity, GM entity. So let's see if we add, uh, I haven't tried this, but let's see if we add another, uh, another entity in here. So um, I'm not sure we could use um, maybe a rifle. So let's see, can we change? No, apparently not. I don't think it works that way with uh, with this. I was hoping we can change the geometry for that, but um, uh, I guess at least for now, um, that's gonna have to be it. I mean, you can use probably physics, but um, then again, uh, I'm not sure if this one will take this is just a rope entity. I was hoping that it would take a, some geometry type thing that you can uh, you can plug into it, but uh, probably doesn't. Okay, so um, that's for geom entity, uh, and uh, like I said, once we get into creating some more um, uh, components, we can um, we can look at those the same way. Uh, so with that being said. Um, I'm gonna chat with Oscar, so uh, hopefully in uh, next next stream uh, we'll go over what he mentioned uh, about. Um, so if you see uh, using the param entities, uh, shadowing the entity ver variable defined already. Uh, so uh, hopefully we'll go over that in in, uh, in the next stream and um, and see how we fur um, further can uh, can simplify this. So. Uh, so all right, uh, thank you guys so much for for stopping by. And like I said, it was going to be a pretty short stream uh, here on half an hour about. Uh, all right, you guys have a great week, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.